Hi, Dublin Dance Dancers. It's Miss Annika. You've come to get your core activated and fit and trim and meet your goal every day of having a nice, strong core that can power you through your whole day of dancing. Today, we're going to use a really long TheraBand or two shorter ones. I've tied knots in the end of them, and then I've just closed it in the door at the hinge side. Yeah, so it doesn't snap back in your face. We're going to be using um, a physical therapy principle called proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. PNF. You will sound really smart even if you just say PNF. So it uses diagonals, which as you guys know, is one of my favorite ways to stabilize your core. So we're going to be able to progress this PNF, these diagonals, to whatever level your core is working at now and wherever level you want to take it every day. So to begin with, you can start kneeling. This is like a good beginning um, position. Even a, a, a tall kneel would be even easier. A half kneel, you could stand, you could go on one foot, you could lunge into every single one. I'm just gonna stand, take a middle of the road, but you guys can do whatever you want, wherever you are and wherever you wanna take yourself. We're gonna start high and then you have a sword and you're gonna put it away. Sword, put it away. This is the first diagonal. We're gonna make an X in front of our body. Yeah, four, three, two, one, switch hands, same X, same diagonal, high and across to low and open. Now the, the straighter you keep your arm, the harder it's going to be. Yeah, do you see how you could easily take this to one leg or you could take it to a lunge also? You got to be really strong for that. Yeah, four, three, two, and one. Good, now you're gonna do the other arm and grab low. And this one's gonna go low and open to high and across. Low and high, low and high. Yes, you could take this to one foot. You could do a kick with it. You could lunge into it. Woo! Four more. Four. Three. Feeling it going across your body. Front diagonal. Switch hands low to high, still low to high. You could be on one knee. Eight. Seven, you could prance it. Six, five, four. This is for the back diagonal. Three, so just feeling that shoulder connecting to the opposite hip. One, good. Now you're going to just turn yourself to the other side. Just like that. Now I'm going to be facing backwards of you as so you can see what I'm doing from the back. So you're going to grab with the now the new arm across. And open it, open it, and open. Back diagonal. So I'm connecting this shoulder to this hip. You can be turned out if you're a ballet dancer. You can be in coup de pied. Ooh, can I be in coup de pied? Sure you can. Eight. Seven. You can try releve. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Switch arms, still high to low. Eight, good. Three, four, high to low, and six, and seven, good. Eight more here. You can pop, pop, up, pop, pop. Lots of ways to change this, to challenge yourself. Feel that front diagonal. Now my top arm is going into my low hip. 
Two more. Switch arms. Grab the low one. And open your sword. And open. And open. And open. Good. You can take lunge. And lunge. Yeah. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Switch hands. Low to high. Hop. Two. Front diagonal, right? So this is the bottom hip coming up to this top shoulder. Try not to do too much twisting. It's really about the diagonals. Keep the belly tight, the tail down. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Good job. You could also take this if you wanted to try an additional challenge. You could take both of the knots, either high or low, and then you could do both arms. Can I do this without wiping myself in the face? Maybe not. So high to low, high to low, yeah? Or this way. Up and in, down and out. Up and in, down and out. Yeah? You can take it to both of them on the bottom hinge too and do the same thing. You would sky is the limit and you are meeting your goals with me every day.